for two. Well, okay. what what I would probably say to me, you can't really talk to children, or you shouldn't, without tying in the family dynamic. Because as you will see, there's this divide between you could call baby boomer boomers and the millennials, or you know these terms that they use. I would hope that parents would start becoming more deliberate as it relates to talking to their children, talking about these legacies within their own family, showing them their pictures. Because for the most part, we say, well, these kids don't know nothing about their past. Well, it's the responsibility of us adults to go about transmitting that information to them. So I never want to say, talk about children in isolation of the family dynamic. And I think the more we're deliberate about the family dynamic, it will enhance and raise up our fragmented families. I'm not gonna say all of them are fragmented, but we have to be intentional about how we pass down our information. If we don't do that, we don't have anybody to blame but ourselves. So when I talk about this group between probably now the ages of 65 and 90 something, they're gonna be passing off in the next 20 years. And if we aren't deliberate about getting these stories out, beyond just the family structures, documentaries, curriculum, that type of thing. It, it's hard work, let me say that much. Mm -hmm. It's hard work, and I, I tell people, I can't do this by myself. I said, I need that village concept that we talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what we did, historically, we did better during uh, Jim Crow and segregation than we did in integration and the civil rights movement. Right. We had more land, we had, it's, it's the truth, we had more land, our dollars turned a lot more because we had to work with ourselves. So they talk about, okay, we're opening up America and the American dream. So those who could get up and get out did. What it did was disperse our ability to support ourselves. So now you look from like 1970 up to now, you look at the quality of life indicators in education, health care, employment, and housing. We lag at the bottom of all those social indicators right. as a group mm -hmm. of people. So why is it that during a more repressive period, when we had to, and in, in, in the nation of Islam and other groups talked about the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, mm -hmm. peace and blessing be unto him. Uh, he talked about that. Not that he was the only one, but he mm -hmm. talked about self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, uh, yeah, all those people, mm -hmm. you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and in our society, they try to muzzle and shut most of them up from talking about that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, why can't, why can any other ethnic group, what they call Dr. Claude Anderson, he talks about poweronomics. They can self-aggregate amongst themselves, raise their own money, live in their communities, and do okay. But when we do it, there's it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Right. That's crazy. It's almost, almost demon. Right. You're, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you know, forget that. Mm -hmm. Look, we need to come together. And 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 unfortunately, this integration probably was the worst thing that ever happened to us. I don't mm -hmm. hate white people, and that's right. a social construct. I don't. That's the world's apart thing. Mm -hmm. Race, different races of people is not real. I know some people believe it is, but mm -hmm. at least biologically and scientifically. There's one species of human, and they procreate amongst themselves, just like animals and any other group of people. Mm -hmm. Now, some people don't accept that, but okay, I do. Uh, but to the point that color is so ingrained in our society, and color is a result of the environment. You mm -hmm. look at people coming out of Africa, more sun exposure, more uh, you know, you or color in our skin. Why is that when you go up into the polar areas? Look at those animals up there, the snow rabbit, the snow fox, the polar bear. Why are they white? Mm -hmm. Because of lack of sun exposure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think we make that more complicated than what it is. But anyway, uh, we got to do better. We just do. You know, the church has got to play more of a role. I heard you talking about that. You know, mm -hmm. but I appreciate your holistic approach. You know, I pre even your introduction. You mm -hmm. covered everybody. You didn't mm -hmm. leave anyone out. Christians, Muslims, street, whatever. Mm -hmm. We got to, you know, stop polarizing ourselves and dividing ourselves because the same issues that affect one group within our ethnic family, it, it's affecting all of us at some point. And we, it, until we do a better job at realizing that, and integration in a lot of ways has diluted our ability uh, on a lot of uh, levels to uh, have the cohesion we had during segregation. Mm -hmm. you point? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Since, uh, oh, no, it's all right. Um, since we were talking about our brother, um, earlier martin luther king and yes. about what happened to mm -hmm. him those are some of the quotes and comments that they drown out from him he said i think i've built a burning house by offering mm -hmm. integration mm -hmm. they keep on you know repeating him saying i have, I have a dream, dream. exactly Lincoln exactly and they, oh, exactly that's nice and when he really started you know exactly up, the war in vietnam never, the economics and all that stuff mm -hmm. shortly thereafter he, he, he was gone talks. 
talk, talks he about does. black is beautiful. He, he, do, he does, that, and yeah. he does talk about their economics. You bring out a good mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. He, he was more than just I have a dream. There's so many letters and so many other speeches that he gave. I, mm-hmm. I posted on Facebook that full speech uh, just two days ago mm-hmm. at the church, you know, his last uh, sermon. Mm-hmm. I posted the whole speech. It was rare, and I right. found it for some reason. Mm-hmm. But uh, you're, you're exactly right. Uh, when he started speaking out against, you know, the war in Vietnam and the economics, the mm-hmm. sanitation strike, mm-hmm. which was about economics and fair pay. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, they had to get rid of him. Right. And anyone. And he, has, and, and he met with the, the most honorable. That's, that's that, right. I, I, I'm aware of that. I, mm-hmm. I wasn't there. But, yes, mm-hmm. he did. So, mm-hmm. you know. Muhammad Ali. Yep. Uh, him and Malcolm mm-hmm. was coming together about. Uh, human rights, right? And they were going to go national, mm-hmm. international mm-hmm. with it. So them two alone, yeah, you know, coming together was a huge, you know, was a huge threat to this yeah. whole structure that we call you yeah. Know, racism. We got to so, do better. And I, I would say, in the spirit of love, though, I know mm-hmm. we've divided our well. Society, I believe, has played a role in planting the seeds of division, and mm-hmm. we fought, we fell for it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. You know, you say Allah, I may say God, I may say the supreme architect but we're talking mm-hmm. about the same spirit mm-hmm. that's responsible for creating all things mm-hmm. and we can't see beyond that and then see our common conditions and work together you know mm-hmm. it's like well like you said every other ethnic ethnic group, group yeah other ethnic groups they don't believe mm-hmm. you know the same some of them are christian mm-hmm. protestant mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. but when it comes to world domination or whatever mm-hmm. goals that they want to achieve right. by hook or by crook right. they put those things aside which malcolm you know said you know put our religion you know in the in the closet mm-hmm. for us to come together mm-hmm. um not that you're not supposed to practice your religion but when it comes for we have a common you know a thread of you know problems you know when the bullets come they don't say well that's for a christian or muslim they just come you know right so, you know we we have to we have to overcome these things or just i don't want my boys going through these things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know that we you know that we face so we got about four minutes my brother. is there any um information Three minutes. To, is there any information, websites, contact yeah. information uh, that we don't, you want to give? Yeah, we don't have a website up, but we're working okay. on that. But if you wanted to know more about, just put Brian Wade, B-R-Y-A-N-W-A-D-E, and Keystones. If you Google that, a lot of the information around Keystones, the teasers, uh, a lot of information. Governor Wolf did the video for it for this because, you well know, Governor Wolf uh, came from York County, you know, the mm-hmm. for, uh, current governor in Pennsylvania. Uh, we have product lines. We have shirts. We have mugs. Uh, uh, my number, contact number, can I give that? Yes, sir. It's sure. 717-601-9314. I am on Facebook under Brian Wade. Uh, so I'm relatively easy to uh, contact. But, again, congratulations on the work that you're doing and continued success. Thank you. And um, is there anything that we can do, you know, with the Hour of Power to help um, get this valuable information out? You know, I know – I'm gonna really be listening out with the mm. curriculum. Yeah, because um, if, if say say you were to turn uh, uh, promote me to someone and they got, I would make sure that you would be compensated for your fi- and get a finder's fee for it. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I, I put that out to anyone. If you know of an organization that might want to underwrite this for a school, private, public, or whatever, uh, you would get a finder's fee. We, we will talk about that. Not on the air, but we will talk about that. Mm-hmm. So know that uh, I need you to help me help our children. Yes. In general. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this this is definitely for the youth that you know oftentimes people say oh the youth don't know this this and that well the reason they don't know it is because we ain't teaching it to them. Mm, exactly you know, exactly know, people quick to blame the youth yeah, i know exactly so where the youth come from they didn't just pop out <laughs> pop out the sky yeah that was one reason i chose uh, elementary education i taught at k through eight i was an anomaly in teaching kindergarten first second how many black males do you know teaching right. oh you got to wrap yeah. it up yeah so okay. this is uh, Brother Sharif with the Hour of Power with our great uh, brother, uh, Mr. Wade. Uh, I'm just a little the Hour of Power, <laughs> Sharif Hamid on YouTube. And uh, tune in next week, God willing, uh, we'll be back. And uh, thank you for listening and your support. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam, brother. Mm-hmm.